Hello and welcome back to V8 TechWorks. So today we are going to continue building our front end here. So the other video we created this whole home page here. You can see it and also you can see the footer here. So you can see in the footer part here where we have the quick links. We have a link for the admin here and this one will take us to the admin page. So let me show you in the other application here if I scroll down to where we have the admin right here and click the link for the admin you are going to be redirected to this uh, home page here but before that also you'll be able to log in using the uh, the login page by filling in the email and the password so that will be redirected here but this is the the admin dashboard that you are going to create and then after that we are going to also create the login page so let's continue and uh, create uh, start creating this admin dashboard right here so if i come to my application here or the code i'm going to push this down here and then i'm going to add here the link or uh, to add the link to my admin so let me import also uh, let me actually make sure that it's a uh, footer here so let me go to the footer component right here and uh, i'm going to import now the link uh, from the react router dom here so i'm going to import link and uh, this link is from now not from react scroll we are going to get this from react router dom so react uh, react router dom React router DOM like that. And then now the other thing is to make sure that this link for the admin here takes you to the admin dashboard. So I'm going to at least add here. So let me make sure that I add the link or I wrap the link here. So let me just do that. Then inside here, I can be able to use or to add now the this link for the admin so for this one i'm going to add here to but this time this one will be able to take me to the login so it won't take me direct to the admin dashboard because we, if you uh we want to go to the admin uh, we need or the admin dashboard we need to log in first so after that now i need to make sure that i have the login page right here so let me do that so here i'm going to the pages here and uh, i can see that i have a login page here and i want to make sure that also i have a uh, added here in our uh, the layout so let me see here for our router we don't have a uh, actually we have a login so what i'm going to do let me test it and uh, in our application here if i click it again it will it is taking me to the admin here or to the login here but then right now i want us first of all to at least create the admin dashboard so let me go to the admin right there and when we go to the admin you can see we have the menu and we have the admin dashboard that means if you haven't gone through the other videos kindly go back and watch the other video so that you can understand what we are going to do right here so let me create now the menu here and our menu is this part here on the, our left side that has uh, links to different pages so let's do that so here i'm going to at least cross the footer here and also i'm going to cross the uh, i'm not going to cross it up uh, here so i'm going to menu component right here and then if you check here we have uh, different icons that we have used in the menu here so Let's make sure that I add them. So I had already prepared them so that uh, we don't waste time. So I'm going to copy them here and you will be able to get them in my code because I'm going to push the code after this or after this um, video. So I'm going to paste them here, all of these uh, icons here. And now let me first of all format my code also. And then now I can make sure that i style here so now i want this to be wrapped here with uh, the brackets like that and then now i'm going to 
style it so the first thing that i need to do is to add the class name here so the class name and then here i'm going to give it the height of the our menu i'm going to give it a height of 100 uh, vh i'm going to give it a background to be gray so a variation of gray and and also i'm going to give it a padding padding of uh, let's say 20 pixels 20 pixels uh, the other thing is uh, can give it the width and uh, in our case here i'm going to give it a width of 350 pixels and i'm going to give it a shadow uh, shadow large yeah like that so if i go back to my application here it needs to have uh, uh, that um, styling for our menu so you can be able to see that we have this uh, gray part here that is for our menu and also you can be able to see it's the same so it's uh, just a variation of a uh, gray color so um, i'm going to now create a list here an ordered list that will hold our links so the first one uh, let me just make sure that i style this an ordered list first of all so i'm going to add the class name here I'm going to make sure that the, they are vertical so i'm going to add a flex here and then flex column that makes sure that we display our things in a vertical way i'm going to add the items to be uh, items start here and also i'm going to add uh, the justify content to be start here the other thing is we are going to give a margin top of 20 pixels so like that and i'm going to have a padding left of let's say something like 20 pixels like that so let me make sure that i add it here so here i'm going to have the first link so the first link here we are going to have uh, the first link here to be home and if you uh, if you check here in the other application you can be able to see that we have the icon and also after the icon we have the this text here so that's what we are going to do so for this one i'm going to add the first link here to be home and then the other thing we are going to add here is the icon so for this one we had already prepared the icon so i'm going to just add them so this one is the uh, far home here and uh, if i save that and come back to my application you can see that we have added the icon and the text here so let me also continue by styling the link so this link here let's add it or give it a styling so the styling here is very really, uh, simple we are going to give it a flex also we are going to make sure that uh, we have uh, the text and the icon in the same line also we are going to give it a font size of 20 pixels both to the icon and the text and also we are going to have a cursor to be pointer and also we are going to give a margin top of 20 pixels like that and uh, also we can give the transition at least we can give a transition let me add the transition here for animation so our transition will be transition colors and uh, the last thing is uh, we need to identify the duration the time that duration will take so in my case here it is uh, 100 so if i just save this and come back here you can be able to to see that they are on the same line here and when you click on it here you can see the icon or the cursor is pointer so the other thing that i want to do is to make sure that i add a space here so for the space i'm going to add a margin right for the uh, for the icon here right and then also i'm going to give it uh, like the font or the color so here i'm going to give it a margin right of 20 or 15 pixels also i'm going to give it a text uh, or the color here to be variation of red and then let me just go back here and you'll be able to see that uh, we have uh, the icon and uh, here you can see by default 
the icon is uh, uh, the icon is red and also the style here or the text is uh, just black so let me I think I'll, I can add the font size or the font weight so let me add something like a font weight to be semi bold I think this will be okay so like that let me save this and uh, let's see how it looks like so yeah you can see it has a little bit of uh, black or little bit of uh, font width so i'm going to copy this and uh, going to add it here so for this one and uh, this one we are going to have the profile as a profile so let me add profile here and this one we are going to give it a different icon so for this icon here i'm going to add as a for user this is icon that we already added and uh, right now if i do that you can be able to see that uh, it has been added here so we are going to paste it again yeah but even before that let me add a, a line here a horizontal line and because if you check here we have this thin line here and we need to style it so let me add a class name here so let's have uh, the line here and we are going to add the length here to be or the width the width here to be full and also we are going to give it a margin uh here of the vertical we are going to give it uh the margin here to be 20 pixels we are going to give it a border border of gray and then we are going to give it a variation of it so 300 like that so if i just come back here to my code you can be able to see that we have now this thin line here that separates the these two icons from the rest uh, the same as this application here but the, for this one is uh donors so let me add here donors like that and uh, here we need to change now the icon also so for this one the icon will be different and the icon that we are going to use right here is a, a box a box like that let me also add another here for this one we are going to add um let me see for prospects so let's add for prospects you are going to change the icon here and for the icon for the prospect here will be or prospects will be fire users and also we are going to have another one here and for this one we are going to have uh, we are going to have orders so let me add orders here like that and uh, then after this part here i think we need to have uh, another line here so let me add that separates so i'm going to copy this one the icon that or the line that we created here and I paste it here like that and then let's proceed with the other links so i'm going to copy this list here and then add it here and after orders i think now we have the elements so let's have elements here uh, for the admin dashboard so elements and uh, for elements here we can have a different uh, icon which is elementor like that we are going to have uh, another one here for the elements we are going to have the settings so settings here and uh, this one we are going to use a uh, or cog icon like that we are going to also have another here and for this one this one will be backups so for the backups we are going to use um, uh, this one will be just a HDD icon and then here we need to have another line so let me copy this and then I'm going to paste it here uh, like that and then I think uh, we can have another one so let me copy this link here and then let's uh, create the other icons here after the backups we can have the charts so let me have charts here uh, charts 
and this one we can give it an icon or icons that is charter I think uh, uh, for chat bar or oh, me yeah let me just use chat bar like that and also we can have another icon here and the link for this one this one is uh, all logs so all logs like that for this one I'm going to use far clip so clip and then board so far clip board like that and then we have the last one here which is a calendar so for the calendar here this one is a simple also and then this one will be a calendar icon so i think like that so let's see how our menu look like so you can be able to see now we have this here we have our menu here and uh, the other thing that we need to do is to format our code so format this and uh, the other thing that i need to do is to make sure that actually here i have not used this so i'm going to just remove it like that so save that and uh, let's go back here and uh, we'll be able to see for the active link it will have uh, this background color and the text also should change if you come to the donors here you'll be able to see also that uh, we have different uh, or the links changes according to the link that is active so let's also do that so for this one the first thing that we are going to do is to create a use state here that will be able to help us to create a, a create a state so that we can know which uh, thing is uh, active so let me create a, a variable here called active link and uh, we are going to have a also set active link as a function that will change the active link so this one will be use state so let us import use state from react and uh, here by default it will just be the default the default link here which is our home page so the other thing is and uh, i think for this one will just be admin in our case here uh, because uh, by default this is admin uh, so you can see it's just admin here so the other thing is to create now the function here that we uh, make sure that it changes the the link so i'm going to handle add here a function that is called handle active link and this one here we can be able to change now so for example now inside here we are going to take in the link and using this link we can be able to change the active link so we are going to set active link and uh, make it the link now that we are going to pass in this function so here also i'm going to at least make sure that i import a link so let me import link from react router dom so link from so here i'm going to import it from react router dom this one and uh, from here i'm going to now make sure that i wrap the whole thing like this part here i let's wrap it using link and uh, now we are going to add that here uh, that link inside here and now we need to figure it out how to make sure that this link it's if it is active then it will show different color so our background color and also the color of the text so the first thing let me add here to which link so for this link here is for the admin so admin right here and also we are going to have on click here so if you click this link here it will it is going to call now the handle let me add here handle the active link and then here we can pass in now the link that is for the admin that is the default one like that so here also we need to change now uh, we need to change 
it need to, it need to change the background color and that we are going by using the styling so the other thing that you need to do right here is to make sure that we wrap everything inside here using uh, the curry braces so i'm going to take everything here like that and add now the curry braces and also we are going to change these quotation marks so this quotation mark here to be back ticks so that we can do interpolation so for the back tick here and also this one for we need to close it using back tick so inside here now we can check so for the active ring so i'm going to for after duration here i'm going to add a if uh, it is active link so let's do that so here i'm going to add a dollar sign and inside here i can now check if it is active link so if it is active link is equals to the admin so let's add here if it's is equals to the admin then we can also add the we can be able to add the another or another styling here which is we are going to have a, a red color background color that is that is will be a variation uh, so we are going to have a background color of red and also we are going to add uh, like a padding so the padding here will be padding of uh, let's add as a 10 pixels we are going to have a width of 200 pixels here and also we are going to have a text so the text here should be uh, white it should be white so the text here will be white like that and uh, again now here we are going to make sure that we have um, if uh, uh, let me check here if it is not the active link then we leave it as the default so like that so let's see if this works so if I save this and then come back here to my application, you can be able to see that uh, it has a background color that is red and this red is uh, it's very, the variation is different. So we are going to change the variation here. So for the variation, let's change the variation to be at least something like, uh, I think 100 is okay or 200. So let's see for the 300 variation if i do that you'll be able to see that uh, already we can be able to see the even the icon so let's change at least it has a 300 and then also we need to check for the for the icon here and uh, for the icon we need to make sure that we wrap it using now the uh the here these um brackets here and then inside here also we need to wrap it using back tick so that we can use interpolation like that and then now after the color here we can just use the upper sign here and uh, check if it's active if it is active link or the active link is admin then we need to change we need to add another uh, another styling which is now let me add here so let's add now the text here or we need to have our text to be white and if it's not then we can remain the same so if i save this now and save you'll be able to see that uh, this one should change to the uh, to white because now this is the active active link so let me see if there if is there if there is any maybe somewhere that we didn't do the right thing so here is the admin and then we check for the active link if it's admin here and uh, then we change the text here to be white so for this case i don't know so let us just uh, make sure that we reload again and uh, we can see that uh, the same it remains the same so i think there is somewhere that we have uh, we have done a problem maybe so what we are going to do is that we are going to look at what the problem is in the other videos but for this one let me 
also continue by also adding this link to the other parts for example the donors and also the prospect so i'm going to copy everything here so that we save on time so i'm going to copy that and uh, place it inside here like that for this one we are going to look for uh, donors here uh, slash admin slash donors if that is the active link or uh, and then also we are going to go to the uh, slash admin slash donors and also we are going to change this to uh, when you click on this it will change the active link to be slash admin slash donors and if you check here this one also you are going to check if it is the active link is a slash admin slash donors and the same for this icon here so this one because this was donors here we need to change also the text here and also the icon here should be power box like that for the same for the prospects also so we are going to do that for the prospect here so let me add here this one is slash maybe yeah this one will be prospects slash admin slash prospects like that also for the here for this function it should change the active link to be slash admin slash prospects like that also we are going to have uh, this one we are going to change to check if it is slash admin slash prospect so let me add it here and then for this one also it is a slash admin slash prospects and then also this one we need to change the text to prospects and uh, here because i don't remember the icon here i'm going to just take the icon that is not used here and it's a uh, far user so let me just change here to far users like that and have a space like that so if i save that come back to my application here and try to go to this slash admin slash donors here you can be able to see the icon here or the background color is changing the only thing that is not changing is the icon color here so if i go to the prospect here also you can be able to see the same and you also you can be able to see that the uh, here the we are changing from the active link that is admin here by default and when we click on the donors here we can be able to change even the pages because you can see these pages are donors here and the we are going to change this for the prospects here now what i'm going to do is that also i'm going to cover this page for the donors here and add this rich data grid so that we can be able to do other things like sorting filtering even the hiding the column so so let's do that so this rich data grid here we are going to install it from react or material ui so i'm going to add here MUI and then data grid so that we can go direct to the documentation and how you need to use that so react data grid component so if I just come here you can be able to see the documentation right here and how the reach this uh, rich data grid work so I'm going to check for the getting started because this is just a documentation which you can go through it in your free time so i'm going to copy this uh here to install my react router or my rich data table here so i'm going to actually open the terminal here to be able to install that so here you need to install several things so i'm going to push this up here so to be able to install that so here we need to first of all make sure that we add this uh, install this uh, rich data grid so let's uh, add it here i think uh, we have our terminal here so for our terminal we are going to get to admin or uh, actually it's the yeah it's the same front end i think something like that and uh, here we can be able to paste now that uh, command here for installing so if you also using other things like p npm here you can be able to click that and use npm if you are using and here you can click that 
So, and then after that, we need to install it, that um, emotion here because this is make sure that uh, the rich data grid works without any errors. So we need to also make sure that we do that. So we are going to copy this here. This is the second command here. So let's see if this one installed. So here it is still installing. So after that also we need to install after we install the emotion react here we need also to install this style engine here under style component because this one uh, if you don't install this to the rich data grid won't work and it will give you error so let's see here and then we can also continue looking at the overview here how to be able to install the rich data grid so for the, the rich data grid here at the overview you can be able to see that uh, this is give you ability to make to manipulate your table things like hiding uh, the you, you are able to hide the table and uh, or the column also you can be able to filter which is searching can be able to sort other things like that so let's see here if uh, it has finished installing so it's still installing another thing for the documentation here, you need to have a uh, data that is raw and also you need to have uh, columns. So here you can see that they have not indicated that. And that's one you can be able to check here for the rows. You can see the rows, how you can do the manipulation for the rows. So let me install also, let me add the second command here. And also let me go back to get started here and uh, copy the other command here which is for installing this uh, styled, styled engine and also styled components. So let me also actually here they have a very good uh, documentation in here get started because you see here you need to define rows and uh, for this one if you define rows like this you need to be using TypeScript because if you don't use TypeScript then you need to remove this the types here for the example this is grid rows prop so you need to change or remove this grid rows prop here if you are not using typescript also for the columns here and you can see for the columns here is just uh, uh, how you name your columns so let me see here if uh, this one is still installing and after that you can be able to see how you can add it in your component so and then here they have actually embedded another like uh, a video or just a demo of how they look like for this one then they have given you the demo for the column one column two here and then the data that they have added here so this will be very simple task to add uh, this rich data grid because it's very hard to uh, code it or it's a very a uh, very big work to actually make sure that you uh, we work on it from scratch so this one as this one is installing so we are going to open the pages for the donors here and make sure that we are styling it so the first thing that we are going to have here for the donors let me open the donors page here so you can see we need to have this part here that has a text all donors and uh, new this button here for the go to the new donor if you click it you'll be able to go to the page where you can be able to add a new donor so if let's come here and uh, the first thing you need to style here so the whole page here you need to give it a styling or let's give a width of uh, 70 vw so 70 vw like that and then inside here the first thing that we need to have is the upper part that has the text so here we can have a span actually let's have a heading so heading one here and this one will be all donors like that and then also here we are going to have a button that is a new that add new or have a new donor Let's help you to go to the new donor as a link. So this one we are going to format here. So this one we are going to make sure that they 
uh, on the horizontal and also their items should be at the center they should be on the same line and also you need to make sure that they are separated so we are going to use just five between and also margin so margin here should be having a margin of 30 pixels so for the heading here or heading one here we are going to have a class class name and this one we are going to have a, also the padding here to be 20 pixels so 20 pixels like that so we are going to have a text a font size uh, using the text and we can give the font size to be 20 pixels we are going to actually we can just leave it like that and let me see if uh, it is styling here so for the donors here you can be able to see that already is taking shape i think we can be able to add the can be able to add the font size to be a font width to be bold so i'm going to use bold here semi bold and uh, after that let us style now this button so class name here i'm going to add uh, delete here so the background color so for the background color here i'm going to use uh, background color should be uh, black and also we are going to have the text here to be white for the button we are going to give a padding padding of let's say 10 pixels and we are going to have a cursor to be pointer and also i think this uh, is okay now yeah so let's uh, do that let's see now so you can see now this uh, looks really nice i'm so i'm going to make sure that this uh, text is uh, has a font weight of bold so i'm going to use just a semi bold and then let's see now so if we do that now you can see uh, this one looks nice so we need now to have uh, now this rich data grid here and we can be able to see in the documentation first of all you need to define the rows and also the columns after that you need to add this data grid uh, uh, down here so let's create another div here so for the data grid should we are going to add it inside here so let me add a class name here so for the class name we are going to give it just a margin so i'm going to match with the margin that we have given up here so this one 30 pixels so 30 pixels and now we can be able to import now the rich data grid so for this one i'm going to import it here as you can see in documentation so let us import it here and also we can add it on the top of this page but this time because we are not using typescript i'm going to remove the types so let us remove the types and then the other thing is that we need to add it here so let me actually make sure that i am adding it from the documentation so i'm going to copy that and uh, paste it here and now i can define my rows and columns already had prepared the data or the dummy data for our columns and rows so i'm going to just paste them up there in the page so this is my columns here and also this is my row uh, my rows here so let me copy that and paste it on top of this uh, here on this function here so if i do that let me see the i can see we have error here so for this error here you can see we don't have these two icons here so for this is a link so let me first of all import that so we need to import link from react router dom so from react uh, react router dom yeah and also we need to get icon so the icon is uh, far trash from react icons react icons and then this one is fa 
like that I think now we can be able to save this page and uh, let's see how this application looks like so here for this one uh, let us let it reload we can be able to make sure that we come to now this uh, link here called donors and already you can see that our data has been displayed here uh, using this rich data grid but for our example here you can be able to see that uh, for a rich data table here it has a selection box so i'm going to add that as prop in my rich data grid here so let me add that in this rich data grid so for this part here let me check here check let me add here as a checkbox selection and if i save that you'll be able to see that there is selection box here has been added so i'm going to end the video here because i don't want to be longer than this so in the other video we are going to create the charts here as you can see in the home page here we have all of these charts so we are going to add them and also style this home page here and also continue for the prospect page for new donors page and many more so for this here i want first of all to push my code so let me just come here and uh, navigate to the folder where we have our our project so for this time i want to first of all check the branches that i have so for right here you can see we have four branches and the active branch that you are working on is the front end so i'm going to add first of all the all the code that we have and also i'm going to comment here using commit and uh, i'm going to just add just add a um, comment which uh, says that we have added uh, add a new all donors and also many like that and then also i can be able to push now the code so i'm going to use git push origin but we are going to push now the uh, this branch that we are working on which is front end and you can see it is uh, it is highlighted using green so i'm going to make sure that i add now my passphrase and after that i can be able to go to my github and also do pull request because we are pushing on another branch not a master branch so let us open the github here i'm going to go to repositories and after that now this is where the repo that we are pushing our code to and after that now we are we are going to be able to see the notification for pull request so you can see front end had recent pushes 27 seconds ago so i can compare and pull request and after that now we are going to create pull request here and uh, the last thing is to it is going to check for ability to merge automatically so after that we can merge pull request and confirm merge and like that and uh, if you want to see the insight you can come to this tab for the insight and uh, insight you'll be able to see network where you can be able to trace and track how you are coding your application so i don't want this video to be longer than this so let me end my video here remember to like this video and also subscribe to this youtube channel and don't forget to turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified i upload when i upload the next video See you on the other video. Have a great day.